It is a milestone year for Lutheran Hospital. The Heart Transplant Center is turning 30 years old this month. Tonight, we take a journey through the decades as the programs change the lives of hundreds of people. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson has tonight's story for your well-being. Doctors at Lutheran Hospital tell me 30 years ago, they were seeing people dying from heart disease who might have lived if they had a transplant. So they started a heart transplant program, the first and only in northern Indiana. Tonight in our special series, Heart to Heart, we travel back to 1985 and the first transplant. The progress to this point has just been extremely good. July 20th, 1985, history made at Lutheran Hospital. Oh, it was uh, terribly exciting. We all anticipated that it would go well, and it did. I think all of us feel that that uh, the experience in the operating room today went exactly, it exceeded our fondest hopes in terms of how everything would go for the first transplant here. News Channel 15 was there for it all. 42-year-old Janice Miller, the first person to have a heart transplant in Northeast Indiana. Two weeks later, Bill Kretzinger became the second, and Lutheran Hospital became the first and only heart transplant center in the region. They have this resource right here in their own backyard. They don't need to travel great distances. But it didn't just happen overnight. Teams of doctors traveled across the country to other centers. The reason we picked Stanford is because it was the leader in heart transplants in the world in 1985. The surgeons weren't just learning about the surgery. They were learning how to create a program. We've been able to sustain a program continuously for 30 years, which takes a lot of work. It was really a team effort, um, required a whole bunch of people and a whole group of departments. Around two dozen people are on the transplant team, coordinators, dietitians, a pharmacist, social workers. Can they take care of a heart once they get a heart? Um, from the medical aspect, the doctors take care of all of that. From a psychological standpoint, an emotional standpoint, a compliance standpoint, a financial standpoint, we evaluate all of that. In the last 30 years, 300 patients got a second chance at life thanks to heart transplants at Lutheran. They all know that if they don't get a heart transplant, they're going to be dead in a year. We were there in 2010 as Jerry Voltz got his new heart. I can feel the difference tremendously. Now I can walk and talk. To see people in the heart transplant program that come to our door um, basically dying of their heart disease and we have the opportunity to give them hope. The surgery itself hasn't changed much in the last three decades. The pre and post-op care is better so it, it usually goes much more smoothly than it did 30 years ago. In 1985, the one-year survival rate was around 70 percent, five years, 50-50. Now, doctors estimate the one-year survival rate around 90 percent, and five years, around 70 percent. Some patients living for more than 20 years with a transplanted heart. They get to do things that they didn't think they would ever get to do because of uh, some generous donor out there who's willing to, to give up his heart or the family was willing to give up his or her heart so that someone else could enjoy a longer existence. Lutheran also holds the record for oldest heart donor and is in the top five nationally for oldest heart recipient and longest survivor. It's not been something that we just did the way we were taught to do 30 years ago. We've tried to modify it, improve upon it, and then publish our results so that other people can learn from our efforts leading the way, changing lives one heart at a time. One of the best things that our program has offered over the last 30 years is hope to patients and families who didn't have the hope. It's a gift. Transplantation is a gift. Next Wednesday at 5, Heart to Heart continues with the story of the 300th person to get a heart transplant at Lutheran. For Stories for Your Well-Being, I'm Alyssa Ivinson.